Here's how I add PNGs to Final Cut Pro without getting those pesky missing media errors. I'll expand your mind with 16 tricks for PNG bliss. And at the end, I'll show you how to export a PNG from Final Cut. PNG me, I must be dreaming. One of the fastest ways to add PNG files is straight from Finder. So I've got some PNG files here. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto my timeline, or I can go right into the browser here. We'll do the timeline and I just let it go and bam, my PNG is in Final Cut and in my project. In Final Cut Pro, I can also add them by importing them. I'll go to File, Import, Media, or I can click this little Import button here. Or even faster, I'll just press Command-I to open up the import window. Then I'll navigate to where I have my PNG files stored and I can select them here. I'll hold down Command to select other ones or I can hold down Shift to select everything in between. Over here, I pick what event I want them added to. We'll go Tutorials and I wanna copy these files to my library then I'll select import selected you can find them in the browser if you don't see your library browser click on this button here and then go to the event where you imported them and then go click on this little icon here and select group by change it to file type and then if you're in the film strip view you can see everything like so under PNG image I prefer the list view so I'll click on here and then I can scroll down and I can see I have a PNG section right here and I can open that up and then select it and use the down arrow or the up arrow to navigate through them and to see the different PNGs to add a PNG to your timeline, select it, move your playhead where you want to add it, and then press Q to connect it to your timeline. You can also select it and press E to add it to the end of your timeline, or select it, move your playhead where you want to insert it, and press W. It'll split the clip in half and then put the PNG in between. You can also overwrite what's in your timeline by moving your playhead to where you want to start to overwrite, and then press D to overwrite your timeline. In the browser, you can select just a portion to add. So let's say I just want to add like three seconds. I'll select three seconds and then press Q to attach it and it makes a three second PNG. Or I can press X to remove that selection and it will add the PNG based on my default duration, which I'll show you how to change in just a little bit. To change the duration once it's been added to your timeline, select the PNG file and go to Modify, select Change Duration, or select the clip and double click on the timecode, or even faster, select the clip and press Control D to bring up the duration control. Then enter your new duration. We'll go 300 for three seconds and press Enter. Select the clip and then right click on it in the inspector and select transform. Now I can move it around. I can also rotate it. And if I click and drag on one of these corner blue handles, I can change the size. If I don't like that, I can click reset. And then when I've got it how I like, I'll just click on done. Now I can treat this PNG just like any other clip. I can trim it. I can move it around. I can add effects to it. Pretty sweet, right? If you're enjoying this video, will you please give it a like so other people will see it? Thanks. You can also edit your PNG files in an external app and the changes will show up in Final Cut Pro. Check this out. I've got this file here and I want to remove this cool little dude. So I'll select my PNG file and then I'll right click on it and I'll select reveal in Finder. Then I'll right click on it in Finder and I'll select open with and I'll select my application. I'm going to use preview for this. I'll use these tools in preview to select my guy and I'm gonna delete him and then I'll save it. Command S and close it. And if I go back into Final Cut Pro, we can see now that the little guy is gone. I love that trick for quickly updating my graphics. We can also animate PNGs really fast. Select your PNG file, go to the Transitions browser by clicking on this button, and go to the Movement section. Scroll down and add this spin transition to your PNG by clicking, dragging, and dropping it. Select the first transition and make it a little bit shorter and then play it back. That's really cool. It twists and animates on the screen. I like it. Now let's select the second one. That one looks weird. It's animating me on top of me. So go to the inspector and under direction, change it to out and shorten that transition as well. Here's what it looks like. It jumps in and then jumps out. Let's import a sequence of PNG images. I'll press command I and I have the sequence here. I can open it up and I can select all of these PNG files or even faster, I can just select the folder and then click on import selected. And if we look over here in our browser, we can see all of those PNGs. If I click on this triangle next to my event, it also created a little keyword collection for that folder. So I can come in here and select the first one, then press command A to select all of them and then press E to add them to my timeline. I press shift Z, I can zoom out and see everything. You can see as I skim across that it's a circle moving, but these are like 10 seconds long each. That does not work for an animation. So I'll press Command A to select everything and then Control D to change the duration. And I'm going to press one for one frame and then enter. Now all those pictures were changed from 10 seconds each to one frame each. Now with everything selected, let's turn it into a compound clip by clicking Option G 
give it a name and press enter. So now I have this compound clip and it's basically like one video clip that I can move around and I don't have to try and move hundreds of PNG files. Okay, let's check out our animation. This technique is awesome for stop motion style videos. All right, here's a cool way to export a PNG from Final Cut Pro. Go to the title browser by clicking on this button here and then go to the social section. Drag this lower third fun to your project and let's change the duration. Press Control D and let's make it three seconds. Three, period, enter. Let's add our own text. I'll click on the text and then in the text inspector, I'll select it and add my own text. And let's update the font and let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And go to the title inspector. Let's change the colors. I want to go from this purple to a darker purple. Now, move the playhead to where you want to export. Right here looks good. Let's turn off the clip below it. I'll select it and press V. Then I'll go up here to the Share Destination button, and I'll click on Add Destination. I'm going to add Save Current Frame to my list of destinations. I'll select Current Frame, and I want to set the default to PNG Image. Now I'll close this, and then I'll click again on Share Destination, and I'll select Save Current Frame. Then I'll click on Next, and I'll give it a name. We'll select a place to save it and then click save. All right, so here is the PNG file. And you can tell it's transparent because I can see the binder behind it, but blurred out a little bit. Now, what if we want to save this whole sequence as a transparent PNG? Go up to the share destination button and click on add destination and then add a image sequence to your destination. Click on it and change it to PNG and then close. Now go back up to share and export image sequence. Click on next. Let's give it a name, lower third sequence. There we go. And let's create a new folder so that we don't have a ton of files in that main one. We'll call it sequence, create, and then we'll select that folder and click save. Now Final Cut will export each frame as a PNG image. Let's check it out. So here's the folder I saved it in, and then it created another folder called lower third sequence. And there we go, we have all of the frames in there. Preview that, we can see, and I'll scroll down through them, you can see it coming in one frame at a time and doing the animation. That is so cool. Final Cut Pro works really well with PNGs. A lot of times when you're working with PNGs, you might be creating a stop motion video. I put together a video showing how to make stop motion in Final Cut Pro in just three easy steps. Click here to check it out.